now let us discuss about d2 sr flip flop conversion here totally we have to follow five steps step 1 is identify the available and the required flip flops available flip flop is nothing but input flip flop here the input flip flop is d whereas required flip flop is nothing but output flip flop output flip flop is sr flip flop and the second step is construct characteristic table for the required flip flop for the required flip flop so here what is the required flip flop output flip flop sr flip flop whereas the next two two steps are based upon the available flip flops second step is based upon the required flip flop whereas step 3 and step 4 are based upon the available flip flop step 3 is construct excitation table for the available flip flop that is d flip flop step 4 is find the boolean expression for the available flip flop and step 5 is uh, we have to uh, draw the circuit diagram so draw the circuit diagram so first let's see the uh, characteristic table of for the required flip flop so here uh, yes and r are the inputs and we have qn and qn plus 1 Qn means current state output, whereas Qn plus one means next state output. Here, yes, R and Qn are the inputs, whereas Qn plus one is the output. Here we have three inputs, so totally we will have two power three, eight combinations from zero to seven. So uh, decimal number zero in binary notation is three bull zero. Next to decimal number one in binary notation is zero zero one. Likewise, seven in binary notation is triple one. So next, let us see the next state output. Here in the first two two combinations, yes and R values are zero. So in SR flip flop, zero zero means the output is no change. So the current state output will becomes the next state output. So zero means zero only, one means one only. There is no change in the output. So next two two combinations, SR values zero one zero one. So here R value is one. So uh, R stands for reset. Reset means zero. So irrespective of the current state output, the next state output is always zero. Why? Because R value is one. So reset. Reset means output is zero. Next to two combinations, S R value one zero one zero. So here S value is one. So one means set. Set means one. So, irrespective of the current state output, the next state output is one. Why? Because S value is one. Last two two combinations, S R values one one. So one one means we don't know what is the output. So unpredictable. So that is don't care. Next step three is uh, construct excitation table for the available flip flop. So step two is required flip flop. Step three and step four based upon the available flip flop. So here Q n and Q n plus one are the inputs, whereas D is the output. So here we have two inputs. So totally we will have four combinations. Two power two, four combinations. Zero 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 one one zero one one. Ah, uh, here D flip flop ah uh, uh, excitation table is uh, very very easy to remember. Ah, uh, simply the next state output. Uh, that means this Q n plus one will becomes the D value. So here what is Q n plus one? Zero. So D will also become zero. What is Q n plus one? One. So D value will also become one. What is Q n plus one? Zero. So D value will become zero. What is Q n plus one? One. So D value will become one. So here D means D value means simply we have to write the Q n plus one value. Next, based upon the Q n and Q n plus one, we have to fill the table. By taking a available flip flop, that is D flip flop. Ah, uh, here, uh, if we observe the third column and fourth column, so Q n and Q n plus one va values. So here, what is D value? Uh, simply, we have to write Q n plus one value. So here we have zero, one, zero, zero, one. Next to one. Next here we have some don't gets. Here we have don't gets. Next step four is we have to find the Boolean expression for the available flip flop. So here the available flip flop is D flip flop. So for D flip flop we have to find the Boolean expression. 
here we have three inputs s r q n so we require a three variable karnov map so this corner represents s whereas this corner represents the next two two inputs r q n so 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 so let us write the values now let us fill the karnov map table so 0 0 1 means 1 so 0 0 1 means 1 next 1 0 0 as well as 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 next last two two combinations 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 don't care don't care next here we can make these four cells as a group why because if the group contains more number of cells then it should produce less literal okay Uh, next uh, so for this what is the expression here s value is 1 s is 1 whereas all these values are changing so there is no need to consider r q n so s plus s plus next we can make these two cells as a group here s value is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider s yes. whereas 0 1 0 1 means 0 1 means r bar q n 01 means r bar q n so this is the expression now let us draw the circuit diagram let us draw the circuit diagram let us draw the circuit diagram so here what is the input d is the input so this is d next we, we need a clock pulse this this is a clock pulse assumes that that is a clock pulse next output q n q n is normal output whereas q n bar is complemented output q n and q n bar so here what is the expression for d s bar plus uh, here for space constraints i am writing here s plus r bar q n s plus r bar q n so let us take s input so let it be yes yes so we have to perform r operation with r bar q n r bar q n so we have to take another input that is r so we need to perform the complement of the r so use not gate so r bar next we need to perform and operation with q n so here we have q n here we have q n so perform and operation so perform and operation on r bar and q n so it will gives r bar q n next we have to perform r operation r operation with s so here what is the second input the second input is r so this input is the first input is s whereas the second input is r bar q n so we have to pass this as the input to the d so this is nothing but circuit diagram so in this way we can convert d flip flop into sr flip flop